Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I got so many requests from you all for a New Year's treat recipe, so that's exactly what we're gonna be making today. I wanted to make something that was light and fluffy and warm and comforting. The treat that we're gonna be making is from my newest cookbook, Baking All Year Round. We are gonna be making snowy star beignets. And what's a beignet, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because it's like a donut, but in my opinion, better. It's a French donut because you make it with bread flour versus all-purpose flour, so it makes it lighter and fluffier and it has this iconic like hollowed center when you put it in the frying pan. But you know what fries on the stove in the oil just like a regular donut. Now usually beignets are two inch squares, but we're gonna cut them into stars for New Year's. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a beignet before. There's nothing better than a fresh beignet. And if you like watching these baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And go follow me over on Instagram. I'm posting a bunch of really cute, fun videos. Bunch of IGTVs or whatever. All right, now without further ado, let's make some delicious New Year treats. Let's get started. This recipe is in the New Year's Eve chapter. That's right, this has a recipe for any holiday. Holiday. These are all the holidays I celebrated growing up. And if you don't have the book at home, that's okay because I'm gonna be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you wanna follow along at home, you can easily. So you don't need to have the book. First step to making beignets is we're gonna activate our yeast in a large mixing bowl. You're gonna pour in one packet of yeast. This is active dry yeast. Then we're gonna activate it with some warm water and two tablespoons of sugar. Now whisk together until well combined and set it off to the side for about 10 minutes for it to get foamy. It's been 10 minutes. Our yeast is nice and foamy, which is exactly what we want. Look at that. Woo, foamy on the top, looking like a little weird bubble bath. That's perfect. Now we're gonna add some additional ingredients. We're gonna add the rest of the sugar. This is the additional 10 tablespoons, so you're gonna add that. Also two large eggs, the whole egg, the yolk, and the white, whole thing. Oh, <laughs> whoa, did that just jump in there? Whole thing. I think that just jumped in there a little vanilla extract, and one cup of buttermilk. Now whisk together until well combined. Break up those yolks, if I can find them. Jeez, come here, there you go. Once that's all mixed, we're gonna add our bread flour. We're gonna add some all-purpose flour later, but this is the bread flour. So add the bread flour to the yeast mixture, and a little bit of shortening, and a little bit of salt. Salty, salty. Then mix one more time till well combined and a thick paste forms. Oh, I'm getting the arm workout. You don't need a New Year's fitness resolution when you've got this recipe. This is gonna be an arm workout. This is arm day right here. And that's why we're gonna switch to an electric mixer in just a minute, cause this is getting really thick. Oh, burn, baby, burn, yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Just scrape down the sides. Check that out, that's perfect. It's really thick. My arms are burning. Whew. It's time to bring in the electric stand mixer. Oh, look who's here, it's Trusty Blue. We're gonna mix together on a low speed for about three to five minutes, and we're gonna slowly add our regular flour. So this is the all-purpose flour, about a half a cup at a time. So I've got a half a cup measure right here. I'm just gonna turn on low speed and slowly add. And you're gonna keep mixing. Again, it's three to five minutes, and it's until the dough starts to pull away like pull off of the bowl. It'll start to pull away from it. And you'll be like, it's perfect, it's ready. Also at any time, take a spatula and scrape down the sides as you go. Mm -hmm. 
The dough is looking perfect. It is pulled away from all the sides of the bowl and now we're gonna work it with our hands. We're gonna get a little messy for one minute. It's very sticky, so you're gonna need to take a little bit of flour, sprinkle it down on the work surface in front of you so that the dough won't stick. Make sure you put down a lot. And I'm gonna put some on my hands. We're gonna take this hook off, put all that dough, and we're gonna plop all this dough right on top of our work surface. <laughs> Sometimes the dough plops out and sometimes it's a little bit more sticky and that's fine, that's dough. It's really sensitive to your climate, wherever you live. If you live somewhere that's hotter or drier or more humid, dough reacts and is sensitive, so that's okay. And if your dough is too sticky like mine is, it's sticking to my fingers, just add a little bit more flour like that. Now knead your dough for about one minute. If you've never kneaded dough before, it's very easy. You're gonna use the palm of your hands right here and you're gonna push the dough away from you using the palm. Then you're gonna pull back and turn. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Push, pull, turn. Push, pull, turn. And if you need to add if you need to add more flour as you go, if it's too sticky, just do it. Just keep working it till it's nice and smooth. This dough is perfect. It's ready to rest in a large bowl. We've greased it with vegetable oil. You're gonna pick up your dough, place it inside, and then you wanna flip it so you coat all of it with the oil. And you do this because you don't want it to stick to the bowl as it rests. As it rests, it will rise. Now take a clean kitchen towel and we're gonna tuck it in, it's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> it's gonna take a little nap. So you just cover the top and you're gonna let it sit out at room temperature. Just wanna leave it out room temperature for one to two hours and this depends on your climate. So one to two hours, you just want it to double in size. Good night, sleep tight. Good night, little beignets. Good night, good night. Good night, little beignets. I can clean up now. Okay, while these are resting too, I'm gonna clean up. That's a, oh gee, yeah. After your dough has rested, we're gonna roll it out and cut out our cute little star beignets. Usually when I make beignets, they are two inch by two inch squares. So I'm using a very small star cookie cutter that's about the same size. Also, while we're doing this on the stove, I've got a heavy bottom pot. That just means a thick bottom because we're heating up about eight cups of oil on a medium heat and we're gonna heat it to be 350 degrees. I'm gonna check in on it with a little candy thermometer you just pop in there. Oh, look at you, looking good. Sprinkle a little flour on your work surface in front of you so the dough doesn't stick. Woo, look at all this dough. Bloop. One of the most satisfying things, I love to do this. I love when it plops. Sprinkle a little flour. Then using a wooden rolling pin, roll out your dough to be about a half to a fourth inch thick, whatever you fancy. Now using a star cookie cutter, just cut out a bunch of stars, as many as you can. Look at all these stars. All right, so now we're just gonna remove the excess dough and place your little stars over on a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper so they won't stick. And then you can re-roll out the dough one more time and get some more stars. But I'm just gonna transfer them over to the baking sheet and then once you've got a bunch of stars cut out, you're gonna take them over to the stove. Heat eight cups of vegetable oil in a heavy bottom saucepan to 350 degrees on medium heat. Once you reach 350 degrees, working in batches of a few at a time, fry the beignets until golden brown, about a minute each side. Then using a slotted spoon, remove the beignets and place on top of some paper towels to drain. Then keep doing this to the rest of your beignets. Once you've fried all your donuts on the stove, you can just pick them up Place them onto a plate and sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar over the top and then they are ready to serve. You want to eat these fresh while they're still warm. That's when they're the best. And if some of them are a little flat, it just means that your oil wasn't hot enough. But if they're cooked, they're still good. They're still donuts. There's just not enough room on the plate, so I'm gonna have to eat these. Oh, dang it. Goop a little powdered sugar in a sieve. Look at this, and it makes them snowy. It's perfect for the holidays. A lot of people are seeing snow. <laughs> 
Oh, this is so cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a couple over here. These are for me. And then they're ready to enjoy. Oh, it's perfect. These are perfect for the new year. Delicious and fluffy and warm and cozy. <laughs> if you wanted to know my New Year's plans, this is it. I am going to watch the ball drop or a clock or something while eating these. Mm-hmm, with my two little pups. That's it. Okay, I'll stop eating while I'm talking. Okay, okay, let me go put this down. And ta-da! There you have it, snowy star beignets. This recipe is perfect for the new year for so many reasons. They're little stars, they're bright, they're shining, they're warm, they're fluffy, they're delicious, they're comfort, they are everything. I'm gonna drink some coffee and eat all of these. <laughs> I'll be taking a bunch of pictures and posting them on my Instagram and my website so you can check them out there. And if you guys make these treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And use the hashtag row recipe or hashtag baking all year round so that I can find it and heart it and like it and write you all the good jobs. If you like this video and you like watching baking videos, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And let me know in the comments down below what recipe you would like to see next. All right, thanks again for watching you guys and I hope you had a happy holidays and you have a happy new year. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. And I'm gonna celebrate the new year by having another one of these. Or the whole plate. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs>